Huawei have made some interesting and excellent products which I've reviewed in previous videos. And now I've got the Huawei Watch GT2e. With this time of design they didn't copy from another manufacturer, let's see if Huawei can justify the cost. The box looks a lot nicer with the black and gold colour scheme since it gives a much more premium feel. In the box you are firstly greeted with the watch and two boxes underneath on either side. On the left is the charging dock and USB-C cable and on the right are the almost never read quick start guide and warranty card. Back to the watch. This is one of four available colours called mint green. The other three colours are called icy white, uh, graphite black and lava red. The band feels like it's made of rubber and the watch itself is metal with a plastic screen and all feels of really good quality. The watch feels good to wear and pretty light, coming in at 40 grams. It has a 1.39 inch AMOLED display, the watch lasts on average about 2 weeks but that depends on user habits. The battery size is 455 mAh and the watch uses Android Wear OS. And on this watch at least, it doesn't seem to work as nicely as Samsung's Tizen OS or Apple's Watch OS. The watch has 4GB of memory and this is a fixed option which means you can't alter it to have more or less storage. It can monitor heart rate and exercise like any fitness watch. But the difference between the GT2 and the GT2e is that the GT2e has an oxygen sensor. Now this isn't always 100% accurate like hospital equipment so bear that in mind because it's not always going to give an accurate result. For £160 it's a good watch, it has a nice looking screen, average build quality and great battery life. But some things I'd like to see in the future would be a nicer made interface like the Samsung watches and have a bezel dial slash crown rather than a useless looking border which sort of kills the aesthetic. I would also like to see a more responsive screen since it feels a little slow. But considering it's only a quarter of the price of the Active 2, the, GT, uh, the GT2e is a good watch, and I'd highly recommend buying it. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.